So Tom, in the previous conversation, we talked about employee engagement once employees are inside and what to do them to stay there and be motivated. But I also feel that the whole candidate or employee life cycle is important. And sometimes I feel that there's a lot of emphasis on candidate experience before joining a company. And then yeah. once they join the company, kind of the employee uh, or the employee experience goes down and things are not at the same as it goes like a sunshine from outside and once you're in everything is revealed so what tips you have in terms of to keep the candidate experience going forward as an employee experience is there anything that kudo can do to help companies yeah absolutely like the, like as you're highlighting everything from uh, attraction to uh, becoming an alumni or hire to retire you know you have to pay attention to all aspects of the employee life cycle or the employee journey so not just creating a persona that is attractive and makes you a preferred employer but when somebody does start how do you make their first day a great day and their first month a great month by having an exceptional onboarding experience? Yes. And then from there, how do you provide that extra coaching and feedback to help them mm -hmm. you know, develop uh, into their role? You don't actually get uh, payback on a new hire until about 15 months in. And mm -hmm. so all organizations that do a poor job at onboarding and a poor job at training you know, aren't getting their money back until, uh, you know, well into that person's tenure. So it's very important to do that. And, and a product like Kudos, you know, can help you create that culture uh, of appreciation. But when the person joins, it's welcoming them to the, to the organization where they can also learn about uh, your culture and your core values and their teammates in a product like Kudos. And those teammates can also welcome them to the company and get to know them and send them recognition. And it's just those little moments of saying, hey, great job on your uh, on completing all of your onboarding paperwork or, you know, great job on those questions that you uh, were asking to learn more about your role and responsibilities. And by doing those little micro recognition moments from your peers and from your direct supervisor, you're engaging that new employee and helping them on their the first part of their journey to become a productive uh, you know member of the team you know several months down the road you can even advance that and move it up where we've even seen in our company where uh, it would typically take six months to get somebody up to speed and productive you know you can shorten that cycle down to three months yeah. because you're getting you know everybody leaning in to help yeah, those uh, those checkpoints, those as if you are coaching them like baby steps, so that that experience continues and grows. That's right. It's just every time you see somebody doing something right, you know, just acknowledge it and 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 put it into context so that they understand, uh, you know, what it was that they did, so that you get more of those behaviors going forward, like taking initiative or being thorough or being proactive you know, are maybe values or qualities that you admire and want in your team members. And if you recognize those qualities, you're going to get more of those qualities and outcomes. Yeah, those are great tips, Tom. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of uh, candidate experience or employee experience, please leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Tom.